Morning YouTubers, Ben here from 100 N Man and we have 45 days, 20 hours till Iron Man. The clock is ticking fast. The days just keep creeping up on us and hoping I'm doing enough. I well, up with a guy yesterday at my gym that also is doing the same event. I mentioned him before in a previous podcast how it was important just to share your message in a positive way and as a result you tend to attract people around you that have similar goals, beliefs, aspirations like attracts like. So if you're an arse, you're going to attract an arse. If you're a good egg, then you're going to attract fellow good beings. I'm a great believer in that and I subscribe to that a lot. That's not what I wanted to talk about this morning. did a real quick, brief meditation this morning. As a result, I was just thinking about those role models that I have in my life and how sometimes you can evolve beyond those role models, the people that inspired you, motivated you, taught you, no longer become that role model I think it's important that we constantly adjust who we aspire to have and be according to our own life goals at that present moment. And the reason I think this came up was just a conversation I had with someone else yesterday where they were so focused on being like somebody else to the degree that, they, I mean, they'd even started to dress like them. And it's fine to really immerse yourself, and I think it's good to immerse yourself in the, the physical as well as the mindful cloning or mirror matching, but I think it's important you understand why you want them as a role model. Because if you achieve what they achieve, and it's a huge disappointment that you've spent 20, 30, or even 40 years aspiring to have what they have. I don't mean in the materialistic context, I mean in the global and bigger context. And it's a disappointment, then you've kind of just been living someone else's life. For me, and again, this is only true in my own world, having a role model is more than one. So along this journey, I've had several different role models, several different mentors. Whether they're aware of being my mentor or not, they are. And they come from not just the fitness world. And I think it's really key to have a vast library of mentors, a vast li library of role models who you aspire to have but I think it's equally important that you understand that once you reach that it's time to up the game a little bit more and the role model should evolve according to your own dreams and aspirations so if your role model is currently 100% above where you aim to be and then they become 5% don't hold on to that 5%. Look for another role model that is 100% further beyond what you are in that current moment. And keep pushing. Keep pushing yourself, your own abilities, your beliefs, your values. And I've had it in my own life. There's been people which I've really looked up to have achieved 
in a commercial sense beyond what they did and then I was actually let down they weren't the people that I thought they were and that's my own evolution that's my own belief uh, my own learnings and it was important to me at the time to go through that you like all these things you don't know until you've known So, I guess what I'm saying is, if you've got a role model right now, make sure it's not the same role model that you had, or the same mentor you had 20, 30 years ago. If it is, I'd probably suggest moving on, or certainly pushing your own boundaries beyond where they're at at the moment. Because we all can achieve more, we all can be more, if we choose. It comes down to choice at the end of the day, doesn't it? The more, the more we learn, the more we evolve, the more we gain knowledge, at a vast spectrum of knowledge, then the better we become as humans. That's my own belief structure. That may not be the truth in your world. You know, I listen to some of the presidential candidates in America at the moment and some of what they're saying and either they're incredibly narrow minded or they know they don't, there's something they don't they know that I don't and it's simple things like having a belief structure about a whole race or a whole religious group perhaps if they immerse themselves in that culture and that understanding and that group of individual and that way of living just for a short period of time maybe their their view of the world would change slightly and that's what I mean by gaining a vast knowledge and understanding of something bigger than what you believe until you've lived in someone else's shoes don't judge them you know it's until you've lived in the shoes of someone outside of your religion your faith your belief structure your life then I don't think you're in any position. This is only my belief structure to, to gauge or to really view or judge. You know, some all major conflicts are effectively were either fought over oil or, or religion. That, that's it at the end of the day. You could go back further and you could say it was land, but I think it just comes down to religion. everyone kept their own beliefs to themselves and didn't preach to others I think the world would be a better place and I guess that's what I'm saying as well be wary of going out and expressing a strong enough belief structure believing it's true you know I've done what nearly 200 videos now some of the content that I was adding 50 days ago has evolved that belief that knowledge that understanding has evolved into something bigger and greater so I probably would have expanded on what I know now you know I'm learning about urine testing at the moment and blood analysis and from four, four days ago my understanding of urine and bilirubin proteins the pH things uh, pH levels you know the acidity content or content of your urine I didn't have that knowledge four days ago so I was unable to make statements whereas now I understand it better and that will evolve over the next 10 days so hopefully I'll be able to understand my urine hell of a lot more and in better context which means my knowledge is more expanded it means I can communicate to a vast not necessarily on the urine level, but I can, exp you know, I can communicate with people that have that understanding. And that's just within 14 days on one tiny little topic. And you never know when this information is going to be become handy. But if I hadn't immersed myself, I hadn't taken the time to learn about it, then I wouldn't have the understanding. And again, it would be very easy for me to cast judgment on people that did, without knowledge, without understanding.
They say knowledge is power. I think so. I think that's true. But it's what you do with that knowledge which is, which is the true power. You use that knowledge to push hatred, anger, resentment. You know, that's bad energy. You use that knowledge to promote promote growth, happiness, wealth and abundance for others without any personal gain. And that's true power. Anyway, on that note, I have a swim now. I think it's 2,300 metres, uh, which is divided into two 1,000s and then a 300 metres. Best effort. I think that's what's on the training. I need to check. And then this evening I have a hour and 15 minute uh, turbo session. I will catch up with you after the swim. For now, peace out. Swim done. It was after checking my training plan. It was 1800 meters straight up, no stop. So I wasn't 2300 like I guessed or thought it was. Went relatively well. Really happy actually with the pace. Again, just found it really nice and comfortable. Put no pressures on myself to finish in a particular time. The pool was busy-ish, so I would say it's probably a fair indication of the real time as opposed to um, just a matter of going up and down. So yeah, it was good, felt comfortable, just hydrated with 22 ounces of a recovery shake. Just off home now, have a couple of bananas, uh, then out with the children, going to a, a aerodrome museum. Haven't shown my diet really over the last 30 odd days. And for no particular reason, then my main staple doesn't really change all that much. Probably contains no more than 30 ingredients. And I just mix it up depending on what I feel like on the day. And utilize herbs and spices to vary the flavors and textures. So, I am gonna to put together at the end of my complete training program a shopping list. I've already included on my Facebook page a number of print off the recipes that I'm using or have put together. So you can check those out. And my Facebook link is in the description below. Just keep things simple, you know. I think people overcomplicate stuff too quickly or too early on. I think it's just about really managing your gut, making sure that it can utilize what you're giving it as opposed to it sitting being heavy, overcompensating for something else. It's a question not within this venture, but within my main business. I'm asked a lot, you know, what, what should I consume, what should I eat, what's the diet? And the answer's the same across any kind of spectrum, whether it's losing weight or gaining muscle. You know, I've, I've actually been through the process myself. I'm about 13 stone now, my heaviest. I've been 14 stone around about 11% body fat. And that was probably when I was in aesthetically the best shape aerobically or anaerobically not the best shape uh, and then at my lightest probably nine stone on my wedding day if that probably down to malnutrition and poor 
diet, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding. To keep it simple, that's it. I will catch up with you later on. But for now, be safe. Peace out. As you can probably tell, I'm on the turbo trainer, my evening session. Uh, just keeping the heart rate zone below two for an hour and 10 minutes. Um, just sort of talk about hydrating and fueling on the bike. Now, so many people that, or so many articles I've read talk about how getting the fueling and the hydration right on the day. And it's the difference between finishing and not and bonking but for me I find it a little strange as to why you would wait until race day or the day of the event to try out your your strategy or your fueling strategy for me I've started at the 50 days just getting my gut used to the not only the fueling strategy uh, but also the products I'm using because the gut has to adapt and work to it it's not something you can just rely on the day for it to do um, I've heard some real horror stories about people losing the control over their bowels not something that I particularly want to be doing when I'm invested so much time and effort in getting getting there so just wanted to air it because it just came up I was just thinking about it how you know it was time to take another gel on board and although I'm going to be eating my meal in the next probably two hours for me it's about simulating every aspect or as much as I can pre-event so that my body's not well it's limiting the amount of shock that it's going, going to go into now I'm in a comfy environment, I'm in the house, I'm not on a windy road, but I can still utilise or use a strategy which I'm going to be using on the day so that not only do I know what I'm doing and it becomes second nature, but also I'm reconfirming to myself that I've made the right choice with brand and I've made the right choice with how much fuel I'm taking on board. So it's just a quick recommendation from a complete amateur's perspective. Don't wait till race day the week before or even two weeks before to try out what you're going to be consuming on the day. For me I've given 50 days. It can be an expensive outlay um, especially if you're consuming the supplements on a daily basis. They're not cheap but not being able to finish the event because of an extra hundred pounds because you haven't got your food and strategy right or haven't got the gut used to it for me is a, a greater waste of effort and money so I just thought I'd throw that in today uh, I'm going to do my blood analysis in a minute once I've finished still got half an hour or so left on here uh, yeah, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hour and 10 done on the bike at heart rate zone two. And there we have it, 5.1. That's the 5th of April, 2016. Pre-food, post-workout. Day five of my urinalysis test. Just done an hour and 10 minutes on the turbo trainer and I'm just about to eat. I consumed 44 ounces of fluid during my ride uh, but today I've been relatively lax to be honest on my uh, fluid consumption apart from coffee but here we go uh, glucose bilirubin's all good ketones are good and as you can see the specific gravity is here about 1.005 so probably at the most hydrated or dehydrated that I've been. Uh, blood's negative, pH levels are at 6.5. I'm just about to eat, so that's probably as expected, to be honest. Protein's fine. Uh, and then 
all of the three above are fine anyway, not that I'm testing for those. So day five post workout uh, today, as I said, I've not really consumed masses of water. Uh, and that's probably the reason why my hydration levels are low. That's it for today. Swim this morning, felt good. Uh, the bike session was nice and easy, only an hour and 10 minutes. As I said in my video just a moment ago, my urinalysis test, uh, haven't really been consuming a lot of water today. Uh, probably just down to laziness more than anything else. Normally I'm pretty good and have a bottle of water with me all the times, either with a electrolyte tablet in it or something along those lines. But for whatever reason today, I didn't. There wasn't a conscious effort to prepare properly for that. So lesson learned um, yeah all is good ordered my tri suit today for the Ironman I think I'm at the weight now really which is going to stay stable I don't think I'm going to lose much more body mass uh, and that's the reason why I hadn't ordered it up until now I wanted to keep the not invest and then find out that I'd lose another few kilos but I think I'm pre pretty much I've stayed remained stable to the last couple of weeks so I've uh, made the order and that purchase ordered a new set of goggles today as well a cap and some other bits and pieces but I'll do the unwrapping of that uh, as soon as they arrive so I'm pretty excited it's a known brand and uh, they seem to be making some really good and key advancements in the industry so it's going to be exciting to see those but for now that's it thanks for tuning in please remember to subscribe below uh, hit me up on Facebook leave some comments as I said if you're watching this in real time then I'm going to do my best to reply to each of those messages and if you're watching this in the future I'm going to be tapping in and out and seeing uh, the kind of feedback and and uh, keeping up to date with a number of my other projects so thanks for tuning in have a good evening peace out